need to urinate, but I don't need exactly to go at this time. I can wait and hold my bladder. I am not an animal who has to pee whenever they feel like it, and then they do it on your carpet and it smells. Welcome back to our Directions to Idiots, I'm Corbin. <laughs> and you fall to eat the garbage with her up, Mom. Juicy gold. It's so juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Get it all over your face. Here we go. And uh, thank you for our social channel. Follow us on official Twitter account. And today, uh, we are reacting to a video. It's called Culture of Odisha. Disha. Is that correct? Yep. Uh, tribal Anthem. Sweet. Do you know what Odisha is? It's where we get Odyssey, the dance form. Ah, so it's where in the country is it? East. Eastish? Is it East? Calcutta? Like close to, that's near, near Bengal and Calcutta. Forgive gotcha. me if I am wrong. I'm wow. almost 100% certain it's in that region. Wow. How in, offensive. In the east and southern eastern section. Somewhere in the north, southwest, eastern section. That's not what I said. <laughs> but yes. Uh, so I, I don't know if this is kind of like almost a tourism part or of a informational I was sent it but uh, you well, this is a tribal anthem so I would suspect that's music dance-ish dance maybe yeah. here we go oh where's that audition probably audition Oh. Oh. 
great. Really nice that video. A, that was a, uh, I'm guessing a more of a tourism type hmm. video for the for that state. For the region. Is it a state of yes. Odisha, a state? I believe in, that is correct. Okay. Yeah, Odisha okay. is a state in okay. India. If we're wrong, teach us. Yes. But I, I thought uh, that is the truth about that. And okay. Yeah, there, oh man, there were countless images that I didn't want them to cut away from. Yeah. Const I was constantly like, no, 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 stay there. I want to keep looking at them, especially all the faces, all of the people. Yeah. Yeah, they were, so it seems like they're, they're, it makes sense if they have an entire dance form that comes from there. They're very heavily in dance. Yeah, clearly dance and music is deeply entrenched in them as a people, as a celebration. And they're such a beautiful, it's a, it's a blend. And again, what I'm about to describe is from my own subjective experience of cultures, which is limited, admittedly. And they remind me so much at times it seems so Polynesian. And then at other times it feels so African. And then Indian, it's mm -hmm. like this, this blend of three different kinds of things, but they're still not those things. It's its own flavor. Yeah. But really, really beautiful. So this is uh, an anthem capturing the life of tribal Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. not um, just, I'm assuming there's like metropolitan Odisha, like more of like the right, a more more um, modern, I more guess modern version. The word, yeah, uh, 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 part of the state. I would as think well. so. I would think uh, so. And these are just kind of uh, the more tribal aspects to that culture. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm guessing what it is, but it was beautiful. Really beautiful uh, to see all the different dances, the faces, the beautiful waterfalls. Ugh. And I, I have such. I would love, and this stems from. I think I've always felt this way, but it really got heightened when I went to Papua New Guinea mm -hmm. and spent time with a couple of tribes in Papua New Guinea, which is for a story for another time. But I have such an interest in tribal people mm -hmm. and find an incredibly high value in tribal culture mm -hmm. because for the most part, what you find in tribal culture is whether you agree with them or not, they're pretty clear in what they think the, the roles are for people in the society. And one of my favorite things about tribal culture, irrespective of where it is on earth, they have very clear rites of passages for their boys into men and their girls into women. And it, it's, it's a very clear cut path where the entire society comes in and celebrates them into their manhood and their womanhood. And yeah. They have a very, another thing I love about tribal culture is their just passion to maintain the memory of the past and their ancestors and their people and their culture and to celebrate it and make sure it never dies. It's just th those attributes for me are universally just beautiful. Yeah. And without negating, I've never watched it. I mean, I know it happens like in Papua New Guinea, there were two tribes. There's the Hula tribe and the Kalo tribe. And for many years they were opposing to each other. Mm. But, and you find that here in the native American tribes, there were some native American tribes that wanted to obliterate other tribes. But my experience for the most part is that like in India, this is the, we're existing without feeling the need to make the other tribes feel like they need to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. We're not saying ours is better than yours. We're just saying celebrate us. And it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. Beautiful video, beautiful song. Yeah, the pretty song. song. Whoever filmed this footage clearly was, this was a, a labor of love and wanting to portray everything so beautiful. Those faces, man. Yeah. Those faces, I just, I love human beings. I love, I love some human beings. Yeah, that's true. It's true. But those human beings right there, for the most part, were the, the salt of the earth, kind mm -hmm. of, you know, the, the, the ladies doing their work. And yeah, what were they doing? Weaving, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it was some form of cooking they were doing. Uh, I don't know what it was. Grinding the, grinding the grain. The, grinding the grain, potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, don't know. But yeah, that... What? Well, I just reminded in Papua New Guinea, there's just the, the, the simplicity of the, their life and how... The other thing I always take note of is that all of those faces, I saw them for a millisecond and I'll probably never see them again. I think about that when I'm in an airport. I'm just looking at all these people. I'm like, I'll never see them again. This is my only time I will ever get to interact and see that person. I always think, who is that person? What's their favorite food? What is their least favorite food? What do they, do they like sunsets? Are they a morning person? Are they a night person? I just find human beings to be awesome. I wish, I wish that was the case with you and I would never be able to see you again. 